What is up guys, Yu-Gi-Oh! Advanced 176 here. Um, I'm going to go inside a in-depth tutorial on how to play the Ghost Trick Skeleton Burn. Uh, this deck is based on banishing all your opponent's cards in their deck face down out of play so they will never be able to use them. The only way they'll be able to use them is that if they use Necroface, which you could probably run Necroface in this deck because of that. Though I wouldn't suggest it, it's just like a side deck card, like if they get rid of your skeletons or something. Alright, so the main card is Ghost Trick Skeleton. Uh, he cannot be normal summoned, just like all the rest of the Ghost Tricks. Uh, they have to be set, and the only way you can normal summon them is if you have a face-up Ghost Trick monster. Uh, now, there are multiple ways of getting Ghost Trick Skeleton out. Most of them are by card effects, and most of them are also by just ser card searches. Paper. The paper I drew. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so here's the main card searches right here. This card, you'll mainly want to add uh, your traps and sp spells and stuff to your hand with Ghost Trick Parade. Uh, whenever an opponent declares an attack... Uh, eh. <laughs> okay, nobody can target any face-down uh, defense position monsters for attacks, but instead they either take up, uh, attack first face-up monsters or attack directly. Your opponent doesn't take any damage, however, but you get to search any Ghost Trick card in your deck whenever they declare an attack. Now, the plus side to this uh, card is if you negate the attack, you'll still gain the search. If you uh, force a activation that would stop the attack or something, uh, it really helps out because this card comes last in the chain. So if you were to take in play, uh, let's see here, what do I got? Alright, so I've got, uh, where's, ma where's that magic cylinder? Okay, so let's say I had a magic cylinder, okay? Now then, if I have Ghost Trick Parade, and they attack me directly, I'm allowed to activate Ghost Trick, per cylinder, or, uh, Ghost Trick Parade's effect first, which would be Chain Link 1. Then you chain with Magic Cylinder, making it to where you can redirect the attack, they take the damage, but unfortunately for this card, uh, they won't take the damage, which is why instead of Magic Cylinder... I would suggest running Draining Shield, because you'll still gain your life points no matter what. Eh, stupid, stupid paper. Alright, so how do you get Ghost Trick Skeleton out the quickest? Well, you have two options of special summoning really quick. Eh, stay out, you know what, forget it. <laughs> forget that paper, you guys can stare at it long enough. Alright, so here are the main cards that you'll be using to search out for Ghost Trick Skeleton. Ghost Trick Doll. You want to run three of these because of the fact, uh, with Ghost Trick Doll, you're allowed to flip him whenever he's flipped face up. At the end phase, it doesn't even matter if he's remained on the field or not. No matter what, at the end phase, everybody goes down. It's a book of moon for everything. Uh, whenever everything goes down, you can special summon a Ghost Trick equal to the number of monsters flipped face down. Which usually you'll have to special summon a level 2 or uh, 1 before that. So that way you can set up for a special summon of Skeleton. Okay. And not only that, but Ghost Trick John Shi, which I have two of them, which I really needed two, three. Uh, Ghost Trick John Shi, whenever he's face, flip face up, you can search for any uh, Ghost Trick equal to the number of Ghost Trick monsters you control. So you want to flip everything before uh, Ghost Trick Doll, unless you already have a set skeleton. You want to flip everything before you flip skeleton. Because uh, Ghost Trick Skeleton will banish the number of cards face down in your opponent's uh, deck uh, equal to the number of Ghost Tricks. Now most of these effects only activate once per turn, which is a downside, but it's also a plus side. Because you can save your resources for the next time, just say that your skeleton gets destroyed or something. Now then, I know that this deck isn't exactly based on tribute summoning, but these cards really help in the summoning because you really run out of options uh, if they get rid of your two skeletons or three skeletons, how many skeletons you have. But Dark Monarch will allow you to uh, banish itself and cause for like a cowboy en ending, or you could take and banish one of their cards, just period. Uh, which is pretty cool. I mean, it's really a necessary card for this deck. It's not unnecessary, it's complete necessary. Alright, so Dark Dust Spirit, uh, it says whenever it's uh, flip face up, or if it's normal summon, you can destroy all face up monsters your opponent controls, which is really amazing with Ghost Trick Go Around. Ghost Trick Go Around, it doesn't even matter if you have a Ghost Trick or not. If you have a face down defense position monster and it's during the battle phase, you can flip Dark Dust Spirit face up, 
and all their face-up monsters will die. So that means you will not take any damage this turn. Which you can also chain parade to go straight go around, making it to where you still get the effect of dark dust, go around, and parade. So it's really a neat I love how this deck is always consistent with their uh main uh searches. They have so many different combos, it's ridiculous. Alright, so Ghost Trick Ghoul. Ghost Trick Ghoul, um this deck is I mean this deck doesn't really require him. I would use him for maybe an overlay for a wind-up Zen Mines or that Alucard, which I don't happen to have because I'm still poor. <laughs> uh, just a random out. Yeah. All right, so the next card in this deck you really need. Well, in order to take and banish 10 cards at a time, you'll need to do it during your opponent's turn and your turn. So Ghost Trick Scare flips all your Ghost Trick monsters face up. That makes it to where you can flip all your opponent's monsters face down equal to the number of ghost trick monsters you have face up. So if you flip Skeleton, Doll, and Zhongxi, you're allowed to flip three face down. Which you don't want to have Dark Dust Spirit out if you're going to play Ghost Trick Scare because it will flip it no matter what. I thought about playing uh, Penguin Soldier in this deck because you'll be able to bounce a lot of stuff, but I thought about it really hard. You kind of want their monsters to stay on the field. Alright, so Ghost Trick Vanish. Ghost Trick Vanish makes it to where all face down defense position monsters and Ghost Trick cards cannot be targeted or destroyed by card effects. Which is really nice in this deck because with this deck you really need to keep your monsters. But I would only run two, but I have three because of that uh, third skeleton I don't have. Alright, so Draining Shield. It negates the attack and it gives your uh, give yourself a whole bunch of life. Yeah, it really sets up for a uh, stall time. It, it's really good. And next is Ordeal of a Traveler. Ordeal of a Traveler makes it to where uh, if your opponent declares an attack, you can reveal one card. In, I mean, they pick one card in your hand, and if they guess it right between monster, magic, or trap, then they continue the attack. But if you take and play this effect, and they guess it wrong, you reveal the monster, and they call it spell. Their monster will bounce back. So this is kind of the uh, Penguin Soldier of the deck, I guess you want to say. Uh, but this deck is really fun. Um, Ralza, uh, whenever you normal summon him, you can uh, add one card to the top of your deck. Uh, or to the top of a deck. So if they had a face down monster that is a really big beater, let's say that they had a blue eyes white dragon or something. It would be a dead draw for them. That You can make a lot of dead draws with this card, which you really need your opponent to stay in control of what you want. So you get a Book of Moon, and which it is limited, unfortunately. Book of Moon will make your opponent's monsters go down, making it easy for you to control the field, make it to where they can't attack, and make it to where you can also chain it with Parade. Parade gets chained to a lot of things in this deck, which is really helpful. Alright, so... Uh, Mystical Space Typhoon, just to get rid of a card you're, that they have. You really don't need to th run three because you have uh, Raza and you also have, um, what's his name? Yeah, Koss. Those two, the Dark Monarch and the uh, Storm Monarch. Alright, so next is One Day of Peace. You don't really take any damage, neither does your opponent with this deck. Because you're really just burning them alive. Not not necessarily, but you're banishing all their cards. I found that this deck is able to take down a 60 card deck, but it takes a long time. You might draw out by the time that you do that because of all the searches with Ghost Trick Parade. Now you can lower the searches by adding Ghost Trick Mansion and siding out Ghost Trick Parade. So yeah, and you both get to draw one card off of one day apiece. Dark Hole isn't really necessary for the deck, but it really helps in a lot of aspects for a start of a game. So, there you go. I hope this helps. Uh, Ghost Trick Doll sets up for a special summon of Ghost Trick Skeleton. Oh yeah, I forgot to go over the level 1s. My bad. Alright, so here we go. The level 1s are these. Oh, oh yeah, Nico Sumi. Whenever a, an opponent's monster is normal summon or special summon that is level 4 or higher, you can flip that monster face down, which is pretty cool. Alright, so here we go. We have two Battle Fader. I don't, I don't want to run three because if you run three, it, I find it kind of cloggy. And if you draw into it, it can be a dead draw because you already have a full field of five. Usually you have Skeleton, but you need to leave room for at least one for Skeleton. 
And you're also able to chain this with uh, Ghost Trick Parade, so ending the battle phase and getting a free search is really awesome. I love how this deck chains to everything. Alright, so Ghost Trick, Jack Frost. Jack Frost, whenever your opponent declares an attack, you can flip it face down and also set this monster. Uh, you, you just get a free monster out there and if you happen to have a ghost trick doll set and a parade on the field you can chain parade special jack frost flip their monster face down your turn comes flip jack frost flip ghost trick doll you already have a t uh, two search which you would want to search out niko sumi because you don't want to sp control more than one doll at a time because you want to keep your resources as uh, good as possible so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the information. Uh, I know this is only meant for one person, but I hope that this helps everyone. Also, Ghost Trick Spectre, you only need really one because I don't find that your Ghost Tricks die too quickly. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed the information. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I'll upload this video on my YouTube channel, but I'm going to edit it afterwards. But this is mainly for uh, Facebook right now because I want him to get that information right now. So I will catch you guys in a bit. And say goodbye to Jinzo. Yeah, Jinzo.